What's up YouTube? Uh, just want to go over my latest round of yard sale and Facebook finds for you guys. Um, got these at a yard sale. Uh, Mario and Luigi plushes. Um, also, he had some Wii U games on the table. Splatoon NES Remix Pack. Uh, this one I'll be keeping. Uh, Splatoon I already own. Uh, they had an NES, but they wanted like $60 for the NES and they wouldn't come down in price, but they sold the controller uh, The only controller they had for it, which was cool uh, The NES Advantage and then we got a uh, Michael Jackson bad CD um, This stuff here uh, at the yard sale came to $25 so uh, Not too shabby um, I'll sell off my double uh, NES Advantage and Splatoon and hopefully uh, get my money back there. And next up we have a little uh, plate PS1 lot that I got. Uh, again, at a, it's like a community uh, yard sale, more like a flea market kind of deal, close to my house. Um, it's a little dirty, needs to be cleaned up. Should have wiped it down maybe before the video, but whatever. Um, DualShock 1 controller. I think this is DualShock. Analog controller. And a copy of ATV Quad Power Racing. And it did come with the wires. Uh, no bonus game, unfortunately. And the back looks like that. So. Next up at that same uh, community sale. Uh, I usually don't buy PC games, but uh, 50 cents a piece. Can't go wrong. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. Uh, Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds Saga, Diablo 2, and uh, Rainbow Six Covert Ops. So that's four games for $2. Uh, can't really go wrong with that. And I don't know if I mentioned, but the PS1 bundle was $10 that I didn't already. Next up, we have two separate Salvation Army thrift store finds. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Midnight Club 3. Dub edition. Uh, also, Madden Football for the 3DS, which is like a fifteen to twenty dollar game, actually, considering it's Madden. And I think it's the only Madden for the 3DS. So it makes it a little pricey, not too much. And then Animal Crossing Wild World. Um, I had Madden and Wild World uh, loose, uh, but now these are complete. All I had to do is take that sticker off Animal Crossing. But yeah, these were $5 a game. Uh, I came to like 16 after taxes and all that, but that's a really nice deal, especially for Animal Crossing and Madden Football. I went another time to the same thrift store and got three GameCube games. They're all uh, complete uh, backyard football, which I, I didn't have any of these. Uh, Medal of Honor Frontline and X-Men, the official game. I want to say I paid $10 for these three games, um, but could have been $15. Uh, I think one of them was on sale, or they were on sale that day. So, uh, yeah, three GameCube games that I didn't own for $10, $10 to $15. Uh, not a bad deal at all. And next up, uh, through... Facebook Marketplace, we got a really nice uh, Platinum GameCube system. Uh, came with the 1019 memory card, the very large one. Uh, this memory card has issues with certain GameCube games for some reason. But uh, yeah, it's in really nice shape other than the face is kind of faded a bit. But the, uh, the paint is really nice. And it usually, the platinum ones usually chip a lot. But this one's in excellent condition, along with the two controllers that came with it. Um, yeah, I just dusted it off a little bit. And they cleaned up really nice, as you can see there. Yeah. And then uh, it came with the wires and two games. Two games are Madden. 07 and Mario Kart Double Dash. 
Uh, I want to say I sold Double Dash ready for probably close to $70, which pretty much paid for the, uh, the lot here. So that's awesome. So you have uh, $50 for this GameCube Platinum bundle with two games and the wires. So excellent deal there. And lastly, we have a really nice uh, Super Nintendo bundle here. Came with the system, which needs to be dusted off, but otherwise it's in really nice shape. Uh, yeah. Came with uh, the power cord, no uh, RF or AV cables. But uh, two controllers here. That's cool. It also came with nine games, uh, seven of which are boxed. Uh, we have Super Mario World and Super Mario All-Stars. Also had the system manual, manual for All-Stars, and manual for Super Mario World there. So that's cool. And we got the box and manual and game for ESPN Speed World. We got Vortex, which is a Super FX game. Never played it. It's a good one to try out. And we got Troy Aikman Football. I have this one loose already. Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures, with a cool little hollow uh, front cover to it. You can take that off. I think it sticks to the, the front there. It's like a little comic holographic there. Uh, we got Stunt Race FX, which will be added to the collection, the box and manual at least. I already had the game loose. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. This is the third time I found this game complete in box. Uh, really good condition games. And then the second time I found Star Fox, uh, the original Star Fox complete in box. So yeah, all these games are complete and in good shape. And uh, <laughs> I found this one funny. The only really bad thing was this uh, manual for stunt race fx you can't even open because the, the water damaged yeah you can't even open that thing up but yeah the super nintendo two controllers and the nine games she originally wanted 154 and i told her i'd uh i'd offer 100 and meet close to her and uh she took the offer so i just met her today and uh got a great deal on this stuff so yeah, um, a lot of nice little finds here in this video and I uh, appreciate you guys watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, later guys.